Generally, the regenerative process triggered itself when a Time Lord was too badly injured to survive. However, in some cases, Time Lords exercised control over the process. Romana I seemed to regenerate on a whim. TV. Destiny of the Daleks, while Asmael deliberately attempted a 13th regeneration to end his life. TV. The Twin Dilemma. When badly injured without actually sustaining regeneration-inducing injuries, the regenerative platelets in a Time Lord's blood could activate to accelerate their ability to heal, allowing them to recover from serious injuries more quickly than a human would. Audio. The Bride of Peladon. Although particularly serious yet non-fatal damage would require the Time Lord to enter a healing coma to recuperate. TV. Planet of the Daleks. Prose. Vanishing Point. When Rathlon was taken as a host by the Celestial Toymaker, he began to die after centuries bonded to the powerful entity, but was eventually able to die as himself by triggering all twelve of his regenerations at once after receiving a boost of telepathic energy, expelling the Toymaker from his body even if the strain of it killed him. After this mass regeneration, Rallon's Watcher, which had previously manifested as part of Rallon's plan against the Toymaker, merged with the Toymaker in Rallon's place, with the Watcher essentially acting as a new incarnation of Rathlon, thus causing a similar change to the Toymaker's personality as though he had regenerated himself. Pros. Divided loyalties. The degree of control that Time Lords had over their end appearance was unclear. The first Rani stated, most Time Lords are at the mercy of fate after death. She desired the ability to definitively control the outcome of her appearance upon regeneration and attempted to learn how to do this by studying Koturian phasing. Her attempt failed, however, because she was not in love with the man she was engaged to, which was the catalyst for phasing. Pros. Something borrowed. The master had the ability to control the appearance of each of their regenerations. Pros. Harvest of time. Indeed. The mortally wounded war master decided that his next incarnation would be, young and strong, to match the tenth doctor. TV. The sound of drums. In contrast, Missy claimed to have had no influence over her then-present form. Audio. The Bechdel test. Sometimes it's like playing pin the tail on the donkey during an earthquake. If you come out the other side with the right number of eyes, that counts as a win. Missy. Melody Pond announced she was, focusing on a dress size moments before her final regeneration. She also commented that she might, take down the age a bit, just to freak people out, although she did not elaborate whether this was a joke or a literal intention. TV. Let's kill Hitler. Romana I seemed adept enough at the process to custom design her new form during what seemed to be a voluntary regeneration. The doctor criticized Romana too for taking on the form of another person, suggesting such things were not unheard of. TV. Destiny of the Daleks. On an earlier occasion, Lord Roche was able to influence his next incarnation to be a double of the Third Doctor's appearance when he regenerated after being hit by a bus despite having only briefly seen the Doctor. Pros. The Sons of Koresh. When Glossbin attempted to frame the First Doctor for the murder of Quences, he was able to deliberately regenerate into a duplicate of the Doctor after taking a genetic sample during a fight. Pros. Lungbarrow. Lake observed his fellow clones sometimes exhibited control over aspects of the next bodies and realized he could influence his own regeneration by focusing on a specific appearance he desired as he was regenerating. He used this knowledge to influence one of his incarnations into the identical form of a man he murdered in order to steal his identity. Audio. The Lady in the Lake. When it came to changing sexes during regeneration, however, a Time Lord had no say in the matter unless the regeneration was triggered willingly. Comic. The Fourth Wall. In contrast to Romana, the Doctor did not seem to have much control over their post-regeneration appearance. After their fourth regeneration, the Fifth Doctor commented, That's the trouble with regeneration, you never quite know what you're going to get. TV. Castro Valva. The Ninth Doctor restated this sentiment immediately prior to their tenth regeneration, referring to the process as, a bit dodgy. TV. The parting of the ways, they also nearly always examined themselves or asked about their appearance. TV. The power of the Daleks, spearhead from space, robot, the caves of Androzani, the Christmas invasion, the end of time, twice upon a time, both the seventh, TV, time and the Rani, and tenth doctors, TV, the day of the doctor, referred to regeneration as, a lottery. While skilled Time Lords could choose their new form with a voluntarily induced regeneration, the process could go horribly wrong and leave the Time Lord in a severely misshapen body. 
this problem could be exacerbated by the Time Lord immediately starting another regeneration instead of obtaining medical assistance, amplifying the defects in the regeneration. The end result of these abortive regenerations was inevitably a mutated monstrosity that could only be put out of its misery by complete disintegration. Pros. The twin dilemma. In cases where Time Lords could not choose their new appearance, it appeared that their bodies still had some degree of natural control over the forms they would take upon regenerating. The third and seventh doctors were once given glimpses of what their next incarnations would look like without actually meeting their future selves, when the third was briefly possessed by the Naraj and nearly regenerated before his injuries were healed, pros, the touch of the Naraj, and when the seventh encountered Elizabeth Klein and learned about her relationship with a version of him that existed in the timeline where Ace died at Colditz. Audio. Klein's story. At least one of the infinite parallel universes of possible space, comic, fire and brimstone. It was said that a Time Lord's new form was chosen by the unconscious. Prose. The Chronicles of Doctor Who. Indeed, after the Twelfth Doctor's regeneration, he believed that he recognized his new face from somewhere. TV. Deep breath. But it took some time until he recognized it. TV. The girl who died. As the face of Cassilius. TV. The fires of Pompeii. Speculating that he chose the face to remind himself that his purpose as the Doctor was to save people irrespective of other forces, such as those watching over history, having a problem with that. TV. The girl who died. Some Time Lords were capable of momentarily regenerating, or partially regenerating. Though this could use up a lot of regenerative energy, it would give the Time Lord a new set of genes, allowing them to fool genetic senses. The Seventh Doctor used this method on the planet Purgatory to fool the genetic scanner used by the Imperial Lance Connector. Pros. Original Sin. Forcing an individual to regenerate could be used as a form of punishment and in these cases, the new appearance could be chosen or influenced by the condemned. TV. The War Games. Granting additional regeneration cycles. TV. The Five Doctors. Utopia. The Time of the Doctor. Or removing any remaining regenerations. TV. The Ultimate Foe. Was also possible. Razalon's gauntlet could be used to remove regenerations, or at least force a Time Lord to repeatedly regenerate until their remaining lives were exhausted. TV. Hellbent. The Sisterhood of Khan had elixirs that could trigger and control regeneration in a Time Lord who was dying and unable to regenerate normally or, in extreme cases, already dead. These elixirs could determine traits to be held by the new incarnation such as appearance, sex, apparent age, and personality. TV. The Knight of the Doctor. Though some, elixirs, were fake. A Time Lord could be tricked into willingly regenerating into the person they wished to become. Pros. The Day of the Doctor. With effort, Time Lords could resist regeneration, effectively committing suicide. Pros. The Power of the Daleks. The Saxon Master refused to regenerate after being shot, ostensibly to avoid becoming the Tenth Doctor's eternal prisoner. TV. Last of the Time Lords. Similarly, the Fifth Doctor once threatened System with resisting regeneration to stop the device from learning the biological details of the act. Audio. The Gathering. This was not always an option, however, as the Sixth Doctor noted fearfully that while his companion could die only once, he might repeatedly regenerate and live out all of his lives when the TARDIS stalled in space. TV. Vengeance on Varos. Both the First and Twelfth Doctors at first refused to regenerate, with the First Doctor's appearance being slightly changed as a result but eventually relented and went on to become their successive selves. TV. Twice upon a time, Razalon had discovered a form of true immortality beyond the regenerations known to the Time Lords, but kept this a secret, believing it would be too dangerous to share. He went to the extreme of entombing the secret with himself in the death zone of Gallifrey and petrifying all those who came to inquire of the method. Borusa described Razalon's immortality as a timeless, perpetual, bodily regeneration. TV. The Five Doctors, the ancient Gallifreyan scientist Artron found means of perfecting his own version of the regenerative process, which allowed the subject to regenerate swiftly but retain their original appearance and personality, with no limits on the number of times they could regenerate. The Time Lords sent the War Master to retrieve the Matrix print from the Eleven so that they could use this knowledge in the Time War. The Master agreed to this deal in return for them restoring his past self's ability to regenerate although the Time Lords insisted that he only give himself a new regeneration cycle under the standard rules. Audio. Day of the Master. After deciding to help the Doctor, Missy stabbed her past self in such a way that the wound was precise, 
forcing him to regenerate but giving him a period of time before the process was triggered. TV. The Doctor Falls.